Well, it's the show undressing people and upturning their lives for the better. What would you like to change in your life? I would like to change what people first think about me. I think I'm quite creative. I don't really get to express that. I want to feel beautiful. I'm Catherine Eisman, and ever since I was a young girl, I've had this ability to read a person's true character just by looking at the clothes they're wearing. My goal is for people to look in the mirror and say, I finally see me. How would you feel if I took the cap off? Very naked. Catherine Eisman is the host of the new Paramount Plus series, Undressed, empowering people through fashion, and she's with us on the couch now, looking glam. <laughs> so lovely to see you. Thank you for being in our studio. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. It's, awesome. it's funny because fashion is kind of written off as something that's a bit, a bit, a bit light, a bit fluffy, but as we can see there in that mm. video, it really has the power to change people. Absolutely. People think fashion's superficial, mm. but why you go into a shop in a world of infinite choices and pick a particular item of clothing and decide to wear it as an extension of yourself, like as the skin of your choosing, and put it on that morning says so much about who you are. It's one of the mm. most powerful forms of non-verbal communication, and none of us think of it that way. But after you watch Undressed, it'll change the way you get dressed. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> what advice do you give to people then who want to make wardrobe changes of their own? We all know how we feel better when we put a new top on our... <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can, and, and it's, the show is filled with tips, mm. but it's really about not thinking about, oh, what's fashionable or what's going to make me look thinner. That is, I'm not interested in that conversation. It's what are the maybe the three qualities about myself that I love the most that I want to communicate through the language of clothing? Mm. What are they? And you don't even have to go shopping. You can go into your own wardrobe and curate and edit your wardrobe and saying, that says that about me. That's what I'm going to put on. Or if you can put on the big, loose black T-shirt and saying... Is this who I want to be in my movie, in my life? Maybe not. Take it off. You have the ability to read people based on the clothes they wear. We've got beautiful Tash Exelby as well. Joining us from Melbourne. She's standing by because you're going to read us in just a moment. But yes. Just talk us through how it actually works. OK, so when I was a young girl, I realised I had this really unique ability where I could look at what someone is wearing and use it as an access point to understand who they are. The, the subconscious thought process that was involved in choosing that particular item of clothing. I can see the best qualities about someone. I also can see past hurts and traumas, bad habits that are expressing wow. themselves. And so in this show, I meet this group of strangers. I've never met them before. They've never <laughs> met each other before. And I say, would you like to have a reading? And they stand in front of me and I literally undress them with my words. <laughs> <laughs> Although that's yeah. the late... Yeah, exactly. That's, yeah, uh, season two. And, uh, <laughs> really, the late, Hangman. The late night version. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it kind of unlocks them and they feel really seen and then we go on this transformational journey where I change them from the inside out and then the outside in and dress them so they look in the mirror and they say, that's me. Catherine, you oh, know well. what I'm going to ask. Yeah. Can you <laughs> read us? I can so read you. Yeah, and, and Tash as well? I'll read everyone. Okay, great. Cool. Right. Hello, Hello, Catherine. Catherine. Reading. You get a reading. Hello, <laughs> Catherine. Hi, Tash. I think oh, you're wow. fabulous and I love your dress. Hi. I can't hear you, but I can see you and that's all that's <laughs> matters. That's right. Okay, all right. Well, what we're going to do, um, we're going to give um, give you a clip and show you what we're wearing mm. and you can then say what you, I love what you see. Okay, all right, I'm um, very excited. Here's T and I. Ooh. This is before work. Oh, transformation. It's oh my. Item. It's like two separate people, but right. that is true though, isn't it? Two separate people. Let's start with you, okay? So there's you at your core is actually very relaxed, doesn't like to be hemmed in, can't feel restricted. Mm. You are forward motioning. That is you. Like, and, and even though it's exhausting sometimes, you just need to keep going. And that's the way. So the clothes that you were wearing... <laughs> <laughs> the clothes that you were wearing off, which were, um, the you know, black, relaxed and the wear. black and, and active wear, because you're a very active person, you mm. need to be moving, you know? Mm. And it's hard for sometimes for people to keep up with that pace that you have. Sometimes it's even hard for you to keep up with your own pace. I exhaust myself. Yes, <laughs> yes. And then when you... But you're... At your core, very optimistic, you keep on seeking the light. So when you, even when you change into that purple outfit and you're, you are just choosing to see things through a positive light, even if it's tough, even if it's dark, 
you just keep on walking, running towards the light, so to speak, and that's the core of who you are. That is a cracker gritty. I love that. <laughs> uh, we've got a, a minute left for Tash and Tristan as well. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, okay. So, so here's Tash. Let's here's see Tash. Tash on the. Um, okay. That's what she's wearing now. But oh, we've got look a, we've at got you. A vision. This Thank you. Go your okay, well, Go your hardest. I'm a troubled soul. That was me at 5 a.m. this morning. You are, and what a transformation. I mean, you really don't need the show. You, you're transforming all on your own. But you are someone who you, you are. I think you're very grounded. Even when you're fully dressed up and hair and makeup, you're wearing brown tones. You like to feel grounded. You say it like it is. You're a truth seeker. That's your thing. And you can't stand people who who tell lies or are pretentious because you cut right through that. And that is that is your core quality. That's what I see in you. And then our gentleman here, Tristan. <laughs> so you're someone who, yes, you can button up, but the truth is you don't like to be hemmed in either. You are actually quite rebellious, much more than people realise. And if someone says you can't do something, that's like motivation for you. You're like, ah, let's see, let's w watch me do it. This is true. And that's who you are. So, and also a playful soul as well. Very, there we go. Yeah. You have oh. to let me fly. I cannot <laughs> wait for this. Undress with Catherine Eisman launches today on Paramount Plus and is available to stream now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank can't you. wait You're to great. have you, Thank you back for... on the show as well. I know. Thanks for letting me undress you. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Bye, <Frickie. laughs>